Hello friends, this video on organic chemistry basic part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. This question, which of the following represents the correct IUPAC name? The first one is 2-dimethylpentane or 2-dimethylpentane. Since it is dimethyl, you should have two numbers here. So this is wrong, right? So this is correct. 2-2-dimethylpentane is correct. So for A, the answer is 2-2-dimethyl. Let's take the second one. B. 247 trimethyl octane and 257 trimethyl octane. So let's draw this. Octane, 4 carbon, 8 carbon, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? And this number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it says that trimethyl. At second, I have a methyl group. At fourth, I have a methyl group. And at eight, seventh, I have a methyl group. If you number the same thing in the reverse way, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The same thing I can write as 2, 5, 7 trimethyl octane. Right? But as I told, the priority will be given by the lower number. So this is correct. This is not correct, right? Because this is correct. This is not correct because it is 257. This is 247 for the same compound. The next is 2 chloro 4 methyl pentane or 4 chloro 2 methyl pentane. Again, there is a confusion here because 2 and 4, you can give any number of names. So, 2 will be for C. This is correct, right? Because as I told, if you have the conflict, 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 in both the cases. So, 2 will be for the lower uh, alphabetically ordered uh, group that is chloro. So, this is correct. 2 chloro is correct and 4 chloro is wrong. Similarly, in this case, you have all and ion, all and ion. So out of or and ion, this out of alcohol, alcohol and alkyne, alcohol is a functional group, so this would come in the last. This is wrong and this is correct. Hope you understand this. So let me repeat this. This is dimethyl, first one, dimethyl. So it has to be 2, 2, it can't be 2. This is correct. In this case, trimethyl octane, we drew the diagram and we saw that. Both 247 and 257 are possible. So 247 we took because it has lower number. In this case, we have uh, 2 and 4 conflict between chloro and methyl. Since chloro comes first, we'll give the lower number to chloro. And in this case, we have uh, alkyne group and alcohol group. This is the primary functional group. This should come in the last. So this is correct. So we have to keep the condensed bond line structure formula and also identify the functional group for these three. Let's start with the first. So let's start 2 to 4 trimethyl pentane. So we have pentane. So let's draw 5 carbon. And let's number it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At second position, I have two methyl groups. At third position, I have one methyl group. That's all I have. And let's other thing I have to add carbon here. So this carbon has only one bond. So let me add three more bonds. This carbon has one, two, three, four, all complete. This carbon has only one bond. So let me add three more bonds. This carbon also has only one bond. So let me add three more bonds. This carbon has one, two, three. So let me have more hydrogen here. This carbon has one bond, so let me add three more, CS3. This, I have to add two more hydrogen. And this I can make it as CS3. So now this is my formula. I have to write condensed formula, right? So let me write condensed formula, so it will be CS3. Here, one more CS3, one more CS3, three CS3 actually. Then I have one carbon here, right? And then I have CH3 and one carbon here I have this one I have sorry one two to four so this this is this CH3 is here actually and here I have only H correct so I have CH2 here right Again, I have C, H, and 2 CS3. This is my 
condensed form. Correct. So I have CS3 here, 1 CS3, 2 CS3, 3 CS3 here. Correct. Then I have carbon, then I have CS2 here, then I have C, 1 hydrogen and 2 CS3. Let me draw the bond line formula for this. I have 5. So let me first draw, it is pentane, so let me draw 5 here. 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is pentane. At uh, first second I have 2 uh, methyl. So I have 2 methyl here. 3, 4 I have 1 methyl. This is 1 methyl here. Right? This is my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So at 2 I have 2 methyl groups and 4 I have 1 methyl. Here also if you see let me number this in green so that you understand better. Correct. So at the first, this carbon, second carbon has, if you see, three methyl groups. So I have CS3, three here, and then I have one carbon, right? This is second carbon actually. This is third carbon. This is fourth carbon, and this is fifth and sixth. This is how it is. Correct. So let's draw the other structure. There is two hydroxy, one, two, three, propanitric carboxylic acid. Let me draw the bond uh, line formula, it's really easy for me. So this is propane, so let me draw propane, 3 carbon, right. So let me draw 1, 2 and 3 carbon. This is my propane, correct. This, let me number this in different color. Now it is 2 hydroxy, so let me add one OH group here, 2 hydroxy, this is done. Now I have, at 1, 2, 3 I have car tricarboxylic acid, right, at 1, 2 and 3 I have carboxylic acid, so let me add, so here I will add COH group, that is, this is my COH group here at 1, at 3 also I have to add COH group, so let me add at this guy 1 COH group here and at 2 also I have to add COH groups, here I have to add 1 COO so this is my bond line formula, so with this I can create this condensed formula very easily, this is my OH right and then I have O here right then I have C here this is my COH complete and then I have this here this is CH2 CH2 this is my first carbon actually and then I have here 1 2 3 for all carbon bonds are there so I have only one carbon here Right, one, two, three. So one carbon, let me draw once again. This is COH. So let me write COH here. Right, this part is done, and then I have CH2 here first carbon this part is done and then I have one carbon here actually with this carbon I have an OH group attached and one COH group attached right and then I have this carbon C with two hydrogen and then I have one more COH group attached correct so my carbon is one carbon this is second carbon and this is third carbon so apart from three carbons, I have three carboxylic acid. Okay. The next is hexane diol. So let's draw hexane. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So I have six uh, carbon. Let me number them. 
So these are my six carbons because it's hexane, di, L, and since the no number is given, that means the aldehyde group is attached at the end, right? So that means one aldehyde group is attached here. So we'll put the hydrogen here and I'll put over here. Similarly, here also there is one aldehyde group attached. This means that the aldehyde groups are attached at the end. So this is my condensed structure. So with that, I can easily write. So this is CHO, CHO, and then I have four CH2. And then again I have CH. This is my structure. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.